Hello everyone, Arani J here from InternetRadioStation.com. In this video, I want to introduce you to the ShoutCheap AutoDJ and to ShoutCheap in general. Uh, ShoutCheap is my primary uh, internet radio station stream host provider and I find them very reliable and very reasonable as far as their prices are concerned. You want to make sure that you pick a quality and reliable stream host provider because it's very important for your radio station if you want it to be up and running 99.9% .9 of the time. Shoutcheap even goes as far as to say that their servers remain online 100% of the time because they have built-in redundancy. So if one of their servers go down, then another one kicks in, and so they have multiple redundancy, which is a good thing. So uh, again, make sure you pick a quality stream host provider and one that is very reasonable. These prices are incredibly low if you compare them to the competitors. So that's why I've chosen them. I've tested them. I've been with them for quite a while. I'm very happy with their services. So how do I use uh, ShoutCheap? Well, if you've been following along with my uh, articles on the InternetRadioStation.com website, uh, you know that I stream, uh, my primary stream emanates from uh, my home studio and I use Sam Broadcaster. And uh, so all of my music and playlists and categories and everything are loaded into my Sam Broadcaster and I stream from that. However, if my internet connection should go down, then I'm dead in the water. Because the way this works is, is that I send a stream to ShoutCheap. ShoutCheap takes my stream and restreams it out over the internet. That's the best way to do it. But there are problems if your internet connection should get cut. Maybe there are construction workers outside working and they're digging in a ditch and they inadvertently cut a line or something and now your internet is down. Well, if your internet is down and you're streaming from home, then that means your radio station is off the air. So what you can do is you can set up something called an auto DJ. And ShoutCheap gives you an Auto DJ service. And what an Auto DJ is, Auto DJ is like a mini Sam Broadcaster. And what you do is you upload all of your songs up onto the ShoutCheap server. And you set up your Auto DJ to act as if it's Sam Broadcaster in your home. And so if your internet connection from home gets cut, within seconds, ShoutCheap turns on your Auto DJ and your station remains on the air. What I like about it is, let's say that if there's a song playing, you know, you're halfway into a song that's being streamed from your home and your internet connection gets cut. Well, ShoutCheap caches that song. So in other words, even though your internet connection has been cut, that song will continue to play and then the auto DJ kicks in and your listeners won't miss anything. They'll still think that you're streaming from home. Of course, you know you're not, but Auto DJ simply takes over when your primary stream source is cut. If you don't plan on doing anything live from home, such as uh, DJing or doing a talk show, or like I'll do a top 20 smooth jazz countdown live, if you don't plan on doing anything like that, you could run your radio station completely on Auto DJ. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to log into my account here on ShoutCheap and show you what I'm talking about. Here's the ShoutCheap website, and I'm going to log in here by going to Client Area and Cast Control. And I'll log in here. And this is what your ShoutCheap control panel looks like. Now, let me walk you through this real quickly here. Up here where it says General, we click on this link here, and it brings you to this page here. So by default, you're looking at General. Coming down to configuration, this is where you set up your radio station parameters. So over here, you would, uh, under the stream tab, you would type in your station information, your time zone that you're living in. Click on the Auto DJ tab. You would set a genre. I could put in here acid jazz, classic jazz, and deep house. And you can set your crossfading style. You can have one song mix into the next song or you can pull this down and then fade the current track out and fade the next one in it's up to you uh, under your encoder section here you can 
type in your stream name this is what your users will see if they're using say Winamp or the Windows Media Player or iTunes to uh, connect to your stream this is what they will see right here the description your genre if you want your server to be public yes you do under the widgets tab here you can set your parameters and they're all self-explanatory under files nothing you need to do here for the most part albums leave your thing as default and all default type stuff I leave that, that alone not much to do there you have uh, widgets under configuration and these are pretty neat because this lets you cut and paste different things on your website let's say for example if you want your uh, listeners to look at your stream status summary well you copy and paste this code right here onto your website and you can actually preview it and this is what it will look like right here so if you want users to know what's currently playing it's copy and paste that code on your website and that's what they will see your stream details they give you a lot of code right here you don't have to use all of it uh, I usually use the first uh, two or three lines of that code but if you preview it here you can see what I'm talking about see you can uh, paste that code in the website if you paste all of it this is what your users will see maybe you do want them to know the bit rate maybe you do want them to know how many listeners are, are listening and so you would just copy and paste just those first two lines of code here these first two right here onto your website recent tracks if you preview that this shows you all of the recent tracks that have been played you can just copy and paste these codes onto your website Google Maps if you want uh, users to know where you are broadcasting from and I'm broadcasting out of Africa even though I'm an American living in Africa I do send a stream to a US server and so you can preview that and it brings up a Google map and see right there it's showing where I live right there in West Africa the equator is about right there so I'm sitting right on the equator close on-demand content you can upload songs into a, a separate category and allow users to come in here and click on that song and request that it be played you also have a song request form here. You can preview that. And you can copy and paste this code onto your website. It puts this form here. The listeners can come in here and request a song. They can dedicate it to someone. They put in their name and email address and submit, hit the submit button. And you have a tune in widget. You can preview that. And it puts these icons on your website. And this allows listeners to click on these and it would open or invoke that player they click on this link here it will invoke the Winamp player and play your stream this is the window media player link they click on that it, it starts their Windows media player and it plays your stream real player and iTunes rather or QuickTime so they give us some nice little tools here that you can use you also have uh, statistics that allow you to look at uh, things uh, happening on your server you can see where listeners are coming from for example if I click on this link here you get some nice graphs it tells you how long listeners are listening it tells you what part of the world that they're from it even tells you see here it shows uh, different countries here's the South May flag here's a, a listener from uh, Germany here's a listener from uh, uh, Slovakia the United States Japan Spain and so and this shows how many times they've visited your website nice statistics here it even tells you uh, what uh, agents or uh, tools they're using to listen to your website or to your stream for example 30% of the people who listen to my auto DJ are using Winamp 57% of them use the web based flash player that I'll show you in a moment uh, some use some undefined player there are other people using some other type of player here but that web-based flash player I'm gonna show that to you in a moment the way auto DJ works here is that when you come in you will uh, come out here where it says uh, auto DJ you can click on that and you would come in here and you would create your playlist 
and I have created a playlist here. Acid Jazz, Classic Jazz, Deep House, and Midnight Storm, Smooth Jazz, Station ID, and a weekly Top 20 Countdown. So I have these seven playlists. Once they're created, then you upload songs into those playlists. And the way you do that is you can come over to where it says uh, File Manager here at the bottom. And it tells you here to upload media for use on your stream, launch the file manager. So you click on this link and there's upload button here. If you click on that, you can select all the files that are on your computer and you upload them to your Shout Cheaper control panel. Now, once you get them in here, your next step is to go back, come down here to says, uh, Auto DJ, click that link again. Then this time you would launch the media library. And why do you do that? Because you've already uploaded files up into your media library. Now you want to select the music files and place them within your playlist. So if I click on this, it shows all the songs that I've uploaded. And all you have to do is simply select the songs that you want. You can select them, hold down the control button, select the songs you want and drag them over on top of a particular playlist. And it places those songs within those playlists. Folks, and I've already done it. So if I click on my uh, Smooth Jazz playlist, for example, you'll see all the songs I have within the Smooth Jazz playlist or category. Same thing for Deep House. You see I have songs in there already. Classic Jazz, I have songs within there as well. And now if I go back to my Auto DJ, and right now my Auto DJ is running. See there? That button sit there says stop it, so it's already running. So, But if yours is turned off, you would just simply click this button, start your Auto DJ, and then your users simply can go to, they can listen to your stream. Now, there are several ways they can listen to your stream. If we go back to quick links up here, this information right here is what you will place into, I'm sorry, the information right here, live source connections. Live source connections are simply saying that you're using SAM Broadcaster from home. So this is the information that you place within the SAM Broadcaster. You put in the IP address of your Shout Cheap server, your port number, the password that you set up in your stream settings, and your bit rate. And then you turn SAM Broadcaster on, and SAM Broadcaster will send out your live stream. If, like I said before, if your internet connection from home is cut, then Auto DJ, even though it's turned off, if it's turned off, Shout Cheap will automatically turn on your Auto DJ for you and play the songs that you've placed within your playlist within Auto DJ. And your users will hear that over any of these agents here. Or if you like, you can place this link and Shout Cheap gives you this. So you can direct your users to go here to listen to your stream. And if they click, click this button right here, you see, they can hear your stream. Up here is telling them what's playing. Let me turn this down a, a bit here. It tells them what it's playing. Rip Radio Smooth Jazz, The Quiet Boy, and it's, you're online. This is the Auto DJ. This shows all the tracks that have been playing. I should mention also, let's go back to the, the cast control here. And let's go to configuration. If I come down to the widgets tab here, I can go over to uh, the recent tracks and I can turn off that recent uh, track widget. In other words, what you see right here. See there? I can turn it off so users don't see it. Maybe you don't want them to see that. That's up to you. And you can also set the number of recent tracks that you want to be displayed. Right now I have five set. You can set up to a maximum of 10. And right now you see only five. You can choose a different player. Right now I'm using this one here. And that's this player right here. So that's basically what the Auto DJ does. And it's just nice to have that peace of mind. And setting up your Auto DJ and this configuring Shout Cheap is very easy to do. Uh, they give you some videos. In fact, let me take you back out here to Quick Links, I believe it is. And 
there should be a link somewhere in here yes down at the bottom here you can click on this link here and there's a user's manual that you can download or view from your computer and it walks you through each and every facet within here it's very easy to learn if you come up to the client area here and uh, pull in a knowledge base click on that link they have a very extensive knowledge base here under where it says here uh, most popular articles and also but right here you got 12 video tutorials so if you click on that and also there's a troubleshooting link here video tutorials and these are all the videos so let's say for example if you want to um, first time turning on or enabling auto DJ you click on this link here and you have to log in to your account let me log in and here's your video so you can view all those 12 videos which I highly recommend and all their videos are very short and to the point that's what I like about them they don't waste your time they just say hey this is what you want to learn how to do this is how to do it and the more you play around with it uh, you'll get the hang of it and you'll be able to navigate through everything here alright so let me go back to my stream player and turn that off or stop the stream rather that's it that's shout cheap and I highly recommend them uh, if you ever have a problem with them you click on your my support link and you can submit a support ticket right here submit a ticket tell them what your problem is they also have a live online support I mean they're almost always there so you click on this you can uh, uh, chat with someone live and they'll walk you through the process of solving your problem or answering your question they are very very responsive again shout cheat and I highly recommend them this is Ronnie J from internetradiostation.com Thank you for listening.